Hello friends, do you want to unlock the hidden power of Microsoft Excel with the function known as formula text? Then in this video, I'll be showing you that what is formula text function and then how it can be used in Microsoft Excel for doing the auditing and troubleshooting. So please stay till the end of this video and you will have a very good idea about this function known as formula text. So let us see practically how to use this function and what is this function. So here we are having the formula text function. So what is formula text function? The formula text function in Microsoft Excel is used to display the formula from a cell as text instead of showing the calculated result. Now see, I'll give you one example. Let's say you are having Excel sheet and in the Excel sheet, you are having a lot of formulas. Okay, some of the cells are having some formulas. Now, you as a creator, you want to create one kind of a content, a table of content where you want to show all the formulas that you have used in that particular sheet. So just as in the book also, we have the table of content. So whenever I want to go to a particular, let's say chapter, then I try to see the content and then I go to the chapter. So here also in the case of Excel, if you have used, let's say 15 formulas, then if you want to show your colleagues that which formulas you have created in this sheet, then you can use this formula text function and it will show you one by one all those formulas that has been used in this particular Excel sheet. Let us see the syntax here. So the syntax of the formula text is formula text bracket reference. What is reference? Reference means the cell that contains the formula you want to display. So suppose if in B1 cell, if I have written some formula, then in this formula text, what I have to write down equal to formula text bracket B1. So that is the cell where the formula is written. So as soon as I write here equal to formula text bracket B1 and when I press enter, then it will show me the formula which has been used in that B1 cell. So I'll definitely show you some examples here. Now the key points over here is this that if the reference cell that is this reference cell contains a formula then Excel will return that formula as a text string. So if I use here a cell which is containing a formula then definitely I'll see that formula in the form of a text string. If the reference cell contains a value not a formula but it contains simple value number let's say 10 15 20 etc then that formula text will return na error okay because there is no formula so it will return you here na it works with formulas in the same workbook only it cannot pull formulas from closed workbook so suppose whatever the workbook that we have opened and whatever the formulas which are written in that workbook only those formulas will be shown by using the formula text function. But you cannot go to your next uh, workbook, which is already closed, and you cannot pull the formula from that closed workbook. This is what is shown over here. It is useful for documentation, auditing, and debugging formulas without manually typing them out. Yeah, whenever you want to create a, one kind of a documentation or you want to check that whether the formulas are correct or not, you want to debug the formula, then definitely this formula text is a great function. So here, let us see that in this simple example, I have taken here in this cell that is B28 cell, I have written here 10. Then in C28, I have written here 20. And here I have just put up the simple formula that is equal to B28 multiplied by C28. So 10 multiplied by 20 if I press enter I'm getting here 200 so in this cell that is d28 cell I'm having the formula I've written a formula now if I want to see here somewhere that which formula is written in this particular cell that is d28 then here in this cell that is known as g28 okay one of the cell I'm typing here equal to formula text okay we are having a function known as formula text i press tab now in the formula text i have to write down the reference reference means the cell which contains the formula so in this example i am selecting this cell that is d28 bracket complete press enter and here i am getting the formula okay i can make it bigger for you so see here i am getting that formula see here also the formula is there but i cannot see that formula i have to double click here again when i press enter i cannot see the formula but now here i can see the formula permanently so I'm again showing you here, double click what I've written here equal to formula text. That's the function name in bracket. You have to write down the cell name where the formula is written. So in this case is D28. So D28 press enter. And now here I'm getting the formula. Now in the previous two videos, I discussed this formula auditing and the evaluate formula. So if you have not seen this video, then I'm putting the link above. So please check this video one by one. 
and you will have a good understanding of this formula auditing and the evaluate formula now in the formula auditing here i have written some formula in this cells that is uh, d5 d6 and d7 let me show you here double click so equal to b5 multiply by c5 here it is b6 multiplied by c6 and so on here and here i have taken the grand total if i double click here it is showing me equal to sum bracket d5 to d7 here in all these four cells some formula is written now suppose if i'm in the formula text area if i write down here that let's say in this cell or somewhere in these cells also it is fine equal to formula text bracket and now i have to give the reference so see what i can do that currently i'm in the formula text sheet but i want to extract the formula from the formula auditing sheet so i go to the formula audit sheet i can select this cell let's say this cell that is known as d5 so see here it is written equal to formula text bracket formula auditing that is the sheet name exclamation mark and then d5 d5 is this cell then i complete my bracket here and i press enter and now you see here we are getting that formula which was written in the d5 cell equal to b5 multiplied by c5 again if i write down here equal to formula text and then I, if i go to the formula auditing sheet and now if i select this cell that is known as d8 cell i complete the bracket press enter and now here i am getting that formula which i have written in the d8 cell that is equal to sum bracket d5 to d7 so see it is very very easy very simple function it will just show you the text of that formula and similarly here you can one by one you can write down all those formulas which are available in your sheet and this is a great reference for you as well as your colleagues because see today you have created the formulas in this sheet or in or in this workbook but then after maybe two months you will forget that which formulas you have used over here so what you can do that you can write down maybe on the right hand side here or somewhere on the top area also that uh, these are the list of the formulas which have been used in this workbook and then it can give you a support as a one kind of a documentation it can uh, create and then it will be helpful to you as well as your colleagues who are using this particular workbook so this is all about the formula text function now in the next video i'll be discussing about another logical function which is known as the let function let let function so let us see in the next video this let function so see you then thank you very much